Hi, Dr. P here, and I have an interesting question that I'm going to try to answer. I don't know whether this came from somebody commenting on one of my videos, or came from Quora, or came from Board Game Designers Forum, or somewhere else. But I have an extensive quote to start with. Quote, had an industry expert say that they had to be prompted that it was their turn and giving some sort of in-game indicator, drawing up cards or the like, would help the flow. Granted, this was at a busy event where he was constantly being approached at the table, so I had to keep him engaged by noting turns. Do you find it important to have some sort of end turn event to make it obvious to the next player that it is their turn? Or is this a common thing and is more so a player issue? Unquote. Well, in older days, when people were playing hobby games, they were usually fairly serious about it. It was about winning and losing frequently, uh, where it isn't today a lot of times. And so they tended to focus more on the game, and it wasn't much of a problem. Now, party games, it's always been a problem because people are not often not engaged heavily in party games uh, or are only when it's their turn. So until somebody tells them it's their turn, they're not really thinking about the game or paying attention. It varies a lot, of course. Of course, nowadays we have much shorter attention spans than in the past. There's lots of reasons for that, which we don't need to go into. So what can a designer actually do to help? Because if the player is inattentive, they're not going to notice whatever you do. Unless you put in the rules that a player has to stand up and say, oh, my turn is done, which would be kind of funny to look at, but it would be tedious for the players, then the inattentive player is probably going to miss that it's their turn. Now, one alternative is to have continuous attention, although that has its own problems. In other words, you have to pay attention to the game all the time, or things are going to happen that you would have done something about if you had noticed. In a war game, for example, it would be continuous alternating attacks. One player would attack with one piece, and then the other player would attack with one piece, back and forth, back and forth. The players have got to pay attention. Even in Monopoly, there's an element where if you play it that way, you have to pay attention, and that is if somebody lands on your property and you don't notice, they don't pay rent. Now, that's so unusual in that sort of game that I prefer not to play that way, to just say, if you land on it, you've got to pay, period. But that's a matter of opinion. So continuous attention is a possibility. But I find that it's easy for players to miss out on things. For example, uh, when do you have the player draw a card? At the end of their turn or the start of their turn? Well, if they draw at the end of their turn, then their turn goes quicker. If they just draw at the start of the turn, then they think about how to use that card in conjunction with their other cards. It slows them down. But if they're drawing at the end of the turn, they often forget to do so. Whereas they're much more likely to draw properly at the start of the turn. I don't know how much of that is what people are accustomed to, uh, but that's my experience over quite a few years with quite a few different games. So this is a, a kind of a naughty question, but and naughty as in K-N-O-T-T-Y. But uh, when you come down to it, inattention is quite common in games nowadays, tabletop games. And so designers have to do what they can to deal with it. Now, video games are different. Video games wait for no man or woman. If you're not paying attention and they kill you, you're dead. Of course, then you respawn and so on. But um, video games, you don't worry about the player not being attentive because in most single-player video games, the player's doing something all the time. Again, that's the continuous attention that I talked about. Who knows? Thanks for listening.